TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post. Uh, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen. Just in case, man. Patreon, we got we post five to ten times a week, and we got Twitch.com. Man, usernames at the bottom of the screen. But this is Camp Pay. We'll take it away. Season five, episode twenty-four. I think there's like three se- There's three episodes left in this. I can't believe I actually watched this whole season. This whole show. That's tough. Talk to me, though. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. A leading insolvency firm reports that the number of businesses in the UK under financial pressure is increasing rapidly. Nearly 330,000 companies experienced financial distress during the second quarter of 2017, a 25% rise from the previous year. Imagine, look how that was trending and then COVID hit. Over the last three years, more than 150,000 UK businesses struggled to pay off their debts. High Court Enforcement Agents Max Carraher and Steve Pinner are in Shoreditch, East London. How much is that bike? To 25 grand. <laughs> For a bicycle or a motorcycle? How much is that bike? to 25 grand. <laughs> They're here to recover just over 7,000 pounds owed by a restaurant owner for an unpaid gas bill. We are off to... $7,000? A restaurant. And we're looking to collect 7,250 pounds and 19 pence. It seems that Mr. Mia, the owner of a restaurant at the heart of London's Curry District, hasn't paid the full amount due for his gas bill for several months. Take it. Park here. Yeah. Nah, uh, my mic's. Oh, is it turned down? No, it's not turned down. It's normal. I haven't touched the settings on this, so I don't know. A county court judgment was awarded against him, but he failed to pay. Now Max and Steve are here at lunchtime to get payment in cash or goods today. Hello, miss. Um, can I speak to a manager, please? We're enforcement agents with a high court writ. Manager, not here. Can you talk? Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure. The employee goes to get Mr. Mia on the phone. He's too far. Can you talk? Mr. Yeah, sure. Hi there. Who am I speaking to, please? Hi, uh, right. My name's Max. I'm here with my colleague Steve Penner. Um, we've got a high court writ for the restaurant. Um, you haven't paid your energy bills, commercial gas. There's an outstanding balance of seven thousand two hundred and fifty pounds and nineteen pence, which we need to collect today. Yeah, no, no, no. Now. There's no agreement in place. That's why we've been sent round. We need to collect on the balance, or we are going to be enforcing this writ now. You can come within half an hour. Okay. I'll, I'll pass you back over. Mr. Mia claims he's been paying off the debt by instalments and that he knows nothing about the High Court writ. But the agent's case notes say otherwise. It's definitely not paid. So there's no arrangements in place for them to pay money? Absolutely nothing. Otherwise, there's no notes here whatsoever. But just then... Well, he's lying. How is his power still even on? How many different gas companies are available to the UK... In London, how many different gas companies are there in London? Because there's only one here in in South Florida, at least. You can only do one. Mr. Mia arrives. Hello, sir. 
My name is Max Carraher. I'm from DCBL. We've got a high court rep. Yeah, he definitely lying. He walked in with a toupee. He lying to himself every day. So you know he lying to y'all. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting no truth out of him. The Sonogaran House Limited. Mm -hmm. That's right. But they didn't say anything there and no any letter. Well, That's the problem. With the greatest respect, sir, we wouldn't be sent here if there wasn't a problem. All we are sent round is to collect on the funds owed. If we can't collect it, we have to escalate the case, take goods. We don't want to do that. I just want to collect this money. But instead of trying to raise some funds, Mr Mia wants to show Max and Steve his account with the gas company. No one Nothing to hide. Okay. Because we pay up to date every, every month. We can show you how we can pay that money every month. Then, we didn't know they applied for this code. Okay. They are not dissolved yet. Mr Mia's paperwork shows some payments have been made to the energy company but not enough to stop them escalating the case to the High Court. Max makes his position clear. We've listened to you, okay, and I understand your position, however... Six dollars and ninety-five pence. Six pound ninety-five pence for adults. That's not a bad deal. I'm pretty sure it's like three times that amount now if it's still open. I'm not here to question or debate it. Um, we're commanded here by the High Court to either collect this money or, or goods. The ball is completely in your court. So what we have to do, I mean, Max is built like a minion. I can't do it. So we either need to collect this money or we'll start removing this. I can't do it. Okay. You're not allowed to. My advice to you, sir, my advice to you is. To go outside, please. No, no, no. My advice to you is to tell your customers to leave because now no, I don't, we're going to call for trucks I, I, to remove and involved. I'm going to start with that now. You okay? can't. Sir, the paperwork we have gives us the authority to do what this gentleman says. He does. You can't touch in my business. You go outside, see? I don't want you to, because I couldn't do anything. I don't want We Or you give me you don't time. Ask, if you give me time, if you, just give me time. How long do you need? Seven days. I can't do that. We're here today. It has to be today. We can't. We don't have the authority. Bro is not hearing y'all at all. When we're trying to make somebody see sense, I think it's almost like the bait's on the hook and the fish is there lurking and when it's a particularly large sum of money they're almost weighing up is it worth the enforcement agents removing all our assets or do we need to pay it and put a line in the sand it's clear mr mia is unwilling to settle his debt today so max has no choice but to start an inventory of assets in the restaurant. Yeah, if you do chairs, tables, yeah. I'll do the other notable assets. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. But Mr. Mia has other ideas. You have to go outside. Don't give me I'm not going outside. No, you have to go outside. No, 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 I'm not going outside. Then I have to call our staff. Sorry? Then we have to go out our, our what do you, staff. What do you mean you have to call your staff? No, we have to go outside. Not going outside? No, you have to go outside. Not going outside. No way to do it. Okay. Don't touch it anything, right? Make it listen, go. Don't touch it, please. What? Get Don't your hands me. off of me. Don't touch Don't it, touch please. Don't touch me. Don't touch it. Calm down. Lock, lock that. Don't touch it, okay? And the rising tension hasn't gone unnoticed. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I'm a customer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is ridiculous. Take it up with the shop. Take sir. it up with them, mate. No, I've, I've walked into this restaurant what? to eat, okay. and you're, you're disturbing me. Well, Speak to the manager. He has It's nothing to do well, with us. Well, you're disturbing my food, mate. Can this I? This is my argument with you. We have to no, come around. No, no, this is your argument with me. I'm you're not stopping with you. me no. from enjoying my food, sir. I want to eat my food. Eat your food. It's getting right. cold. It is getting cold. Yeah, eat it. I'm running out of my lunch hour. You're stopping me from eating. I'm not stopping not you. You're stopping me. No, I'm not you stopping you. are stopping me. Go and eat your Why food. Why did you go in there? Sorry? Why did you go in there? Just, Why did I go in there? I wanted to something from there and you're in there. Do it with everything else. Don't shout at me. Do I'm not do shouting at you. Okay. Do it with everything else. Do it Don't do what? Do what? Just step Do what? Dude, mighty aggressive, ain't he? What? Right. This is ridiculous, okay? Don't be a hero. You on your work break. You'll get arrested, buddy. These are law-abiding citizens commanded by the high court to be here. And you are obstructing right now. That's fine. We'll get the police here. With the situation escalating... <laughs> That's fine. We'll get the police here. With because, look, look. 
He trying to see if he can sneak in and get a little chicken. The situation escalating. Max calls the police. We're enforcement agents with a high court writ, and uh, we've got a situation that's spiraling out of control. There's irate customers getting in my face. This simple job has taken an unexpected turn. Towards negativity. <laughs> with Mr. Mia refusing to pay and an angry customer obstructing them, Max and Steve are going to need all their experience to resolve this case. This must be a regular customer. Under Mia, meet Dem started snacks. The police arrive. A situation that's spiraling out of control. Now, ten minutes after they were called, the police arrive. One Me, I did, yes. So if you take a seat, we'll come and sit you in a minute. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we're enforcement agents with a high court writ. There it is. What do you want us to do? Prevent a breach of the peace. With the police present, the custom Are the police really this oblivious sometimes? What do you want us to do? Why does Max have to tell you what he wants you to do? Prevent a breach of the peace. That's why you were called. Emma calms down, and Mr. Mia now seems to want to negotiate with Steve. Where can I come with you quietly? Give me a little time, or maybe take that at least take a thousand pounds. They will not take less than 60 percent they won't please because this is my big business yeah i understand this, that give me a little time okay you were worried about your business uh, you should have you should have handled this take two thousand now we were 60 percent because i have you are a nice person to talk right do it whatever is the lowest you can do it and give. so as much as you may be struggling and i accept that I know what they will say. Mr. Mia is adamant he can't make the minimum down payment Steve has asked for. But then Max hears some interesting information. Steve, a customer just said that the weekends, every weekend, this place is rammed. Absolutely rammed. Busy even at lunchtime. I believe it. When people tell me that they are Busy adamant, now. they're not going to pay, I know that this is going to be a real battle of wills. We are going to have to look for all the goods we need and get them ready to remove. There is a chance that we will have to get a van and load up all of their stuff. It could take an entire day because somebody is taking such a strong stance against us. The agents have now been in the restaurant for two hours. As Mr. Mia has made no... What year was this? 2007? It's a buffet? 6.95? Come on now. I know you bussing. In England? In, in, in London? Cut it out. Acceptable offer of payment, Max has no choice but to start the recovery process. The removal team are coming unless you pay the full balance. That adds on further fees. Hello, Mike. Max please, here. No, please, no, listen, I'm deadly serious. You said you're not going to pay it. Mike, um, I'm going to need removals because uh, we're going to remove everything. Thanks, Mike. Cheers. The recovery vehicles are on their way. But now, with his business at serious risk, Mr. Mia changes his mind. What can you do? There's no choice. I have to pay cash. Cash. 7,000? No. It's 8-3. Steve explains to Mr. Mia again that because the removal process has been initiated, extra fees have now been added to the Yeah, this is what lying gets you. Just be real. You, we knew you had the money. You ain't fooling nobody and that toupee on top of your head ain't fooling nobody. So let's, let's, let's cut it. The original debt. When we walk in the door, and if you say yes to paying, mm -hmm. it's 7,250. Because of all this, and we go around counting, it's now 8 3. Then, then, no. then, then, then I pay, pay that 7,000. Hold on. I guess I'm there. The balance will still be liable. No. Please, please, please. No, not having that. Please. You understand? You're, you're a good member. Uh, I am. want to put another thousand pounds. They're coming. The are coming. With Mr. Mia not prepared to pay the full amount of his debt, the agents prepare for the arrival of the recovery truck. But then, Mr. Mia makes an unexpected move. 
and produces a bundle of cash. <laughs> Bro had the racks in his pocket already. Oh my God, dude. Ain't no way we ever believe. I, the moment I seen this man, I knew he had the money on him, and I know he was a liar. They know how much you have to They know you do it, yeah. After saying that he wouldn't pay the eight thousand pounds he owes, he gives the agents the full amount in cash. Steve, you do a thousand. It's amazing how he has nothing. Absolutely amazing. There's your seat there. Uh, that's the last result. Right, nice little commission check. Thanks ever so much for the time, guys. I do appreciate it. Goodbye. Absolutely. Keep straight. You take care, sir. Have a nice evening. It's very satisfying when we turn. Hey, Max did it, though. That no BS attitude. He wasn't having that. A won't pay into a has paid. The reason for this is because they've put up such a battle and at the end, we get the result we're after. After over two hours at the restaurant, the agent's perseverance has paid off. Thank you very much for all your help. No worries. Thank you very much. Shut up. Take care. A hot Indian restaurant with lots of people shouting at you and trying to collect the best part of eight and a half thousand pounds. I've never liked people shouting at me. That's one thing that really annoys me immensely. Tell though, when that customer got up to defend him, he's a regular. He comes there all the time, and he probably comes in on his days off for his family. And he just felt like he was being violated, and his family, who was the owner, was being not not actual family, maybe, but like he's like, yo, I come here all the time. This is my place. Get out. <laughs> Over the first half of 2017, more than 50,000 county court judgments were issued against businesses in England and Wales. This marks a 27% increase since the previous year, with the average reaching almost £3,000. £152 million pounds worth of county court judgments were issued against business in New England and Wales in the first half of 2017. High Court Enforcement Agents Gareth Short and Mitch Starr are on their way to Chippenham. They have a writ to collect a debt of just under £3,000 owed by Ahmed Palizzi, the owner of a car wash. So we're going into Chippenham. Chippenham. To visit Mr. Ahmed Palizzi and JJ Han Car Wash. A uh, balance of £2,753. The claimant took Mr. Palizzi to court after his car was damaged whilst being cleaned at the debtor's business. Never take your car through an automatic machine if you, if you don't want to get no damage. Get it hand washed. A county court judgment was issued against Mr. Polizzi, but he failed to pay. Now the agents are here with a high court writ to get payment in full today. JJ Car Wash. Hey, oh, hey, boys. Hi, yeah. Welcome, Mr. Mr. Polizzi. Do you want to ring him up, mate, and tell him to come back? Yeah, yeah, sure. He's just shot off. He's literally just gone, mate. I'll That's ring him up. Gabby! Which one's his number? This looked like a hand car wash place. How how did it get damaged? That might have been the wrong number, though. Surely you got the number for your boss, mate? I don't put his name on it, you know? Just in case, like. While the employee tries to find his boss's number, Mitch goes to check if anyone else can contact Mr. Polizzi. Want to give him a call, boys? Looking for Ahmed, yeah, mate? Awesome. Couldn't tell you, unfortunately. I don't know him, do you, you work here, though, do you? Yeah. So you work here and you don't have his number? It's a bit strange, isn't it? It's your boss. Somebody's got his number. Nah, I'm on the same thing. I ain't got his number either. Like, you don't have number, nothing? Yeah, you guys got a number, now, is he? Somebody's not adding up here, mate. I find it a bit special, boys, that 
You all work for him and you haven't got his number. Makes no sense. They always have. They're not trying to get fired. I'm an inkling if somebody's telling me the truth or not, or if they're hiding the truth. Um, and that's when I'll start to drill down and find ways of getting the truth out of them. Um, if that person's not the debtor, then it is obviously a lot harder. But then it's a bit of a cat and mouse game, to be honest with you. With no one seemingly able to contact Mr. Polizzi, the agent's only option is to remove goods from the business in his absence. We look to see some new from his address, yeah? So the only thing that's going to gonna stop all this happening, right, is for you or somebody here oh. to get Ahmed on the phone and get him to come, come down here, OK? Realising the seriousness of the situation, the employee tries again to reach his boss one more time. Okay. Yeah. Ahmed, High Court Enforcement Agents. Okay. I'll give you five minutes to come back here, all right? Or we're going to seize all assets here. Okay, no problem. I'm coming back. We'll give you till 25 past. No problem. Cheers, mate. Whilst the agents wait for Mr. Polizzi to arrive, they take a look around to see if there are any assets worth seizing. But I don't think there is. It looks crazy in there. But there's little here of any value. When are you going through to that bus? 25 bus, you've got three minutes. But then, Mr. Polizzi arrives. Here he is. Mr. Ahmed. Perfect. There's cars around the corner. High Court enforcement agents. Here to execute a High Court writ against you, unfortunately. For what? Mercedes ring a bell, damaging his roof. He's right. Okay. Well, unfortunately, he's gone to, the, gone to the county court. Right. CCJ, so a county court judgment has been issued against you. They then transfer it to the high court. So we're now in possession of a high court, which empowers us to remove assets from you, unless the debt is paid. Where we stand at the moment, you owe this money, OK? So at the moment, it's £2,753. So when is court? OK. When so it goes it, to court? It's, it's been, been to court, mate. Went to the county court. I've not received any letter. I've not received any letter. OK. They've been sent, yes, you've had numerous letters from the county court with regards to the CCJ has been issued against you. He had that face like... You're going to really sit here and play in my face. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, no problem. Just send it for me letter till I'm there. You know what's going on. Okay. Letters been sent, mate. You chose to ignore them, lad. See, this is first mine, not my business. I've got a proof for this one. Show me the proof, then. Yeah, I've got the proof, Maybe. yeah. Mr. Polizzi now claims that he doesn't oh, own oh. the car wash. But the case notes say otherwise. Can you come in inside? Of course we can. Huh? Open the car wash. Open the car wash, please. Once inside. But how did he damage the? How did they damage the roof with what? Like, it just dropped like a hole on it or something. Mr. Polizzi does a U-turn and now seems to want to cooperate. I uh, give you a thousand pound today. Can't accept a thousand pound, mate. It needs to be the full balance, okay? I have to be bored with someone, huh? Okay, good. I can't be straight away. Okay, Mr. Polizzi gets a colleague of his, Hassan, on the line. Dag Hassan, Jambashi, Bragam. Sarek Shkawalo, Pesta Gibnadu, Tibo Mahkama. Well, I saw the part of a full bit, part of a full name, the rap of that. In Bashti, Gazadi Halnat, part of Amber Babron. Do as I do, how soap and Joseph on Rosh Shaswash Pes. Jack has a John. I saw Paris and Amen, but I wish you come. But Oparam Latona, a cack, a home car second, Latona, Marhabashina, and Bahamutaman. What have you seen? Bahamutaman. I will not say hello to you. Come on, please listen to me. But Oparam, I don't need you. Latona, a cack, a home car second. Our barber, Latona, Marhabashina. And I will not say hello to you for the rest of the time. How you gonna get mad at somebody else because they don't want to let you borrow money? How you cutting me off because I don't want to let you borrow money? You think I get... I don't care. <laughs> You're the headache. Bye. There's no offer of help from Hassan. But Mr. Polizzi now seems determined to fully cooperate. Just two seconds. I'm calling everyone. Russ, right now, cash. I'm giving you. You're going to pay me, do you? Yes, I'm going to pay for you guys. Okay. Mr. Polizzi calls another of his contacts. Okay. 
والله يبقى الربع ولا من اجل هو زاد القصيم بيت يمن حتى قوقش من منتم بس شو ساعه دي ايش بارقه دي يعني باشا يقدر يجون اس دي يو فريند اس دي يو فريند Hello, what can I do for you? Can you give me your bank detail? I will send you the money to your bank. Yeah, how long will that be, sir? 20 minutes. My friend, just send me your bank detail to this number. Okay, I'll give him the taxi over the details now, right, mate? Thank you. I hope you really don't talk to that other dude, yeah. Mr. Polizzi's contact has agreed to make a payment of £1,500, but there's still just over £1,200 outstanding. Well, he got a thousand. Gareth turns up the pressure. It's now in our, in our account by half past. What time is it? It's now ten past. We are going to remove assets from you, eh? Okay. The deadline is right, set. Man. Mr. Polizzi go... Yeah, give us some type of, like... Benefit of the doubt. It's not like he give me y'all to run around. Bro is actually putting pedal to the metal out here. Goes off to raise the rest of the cash, and all the agents can do now is wait. A large part of my job is working on getting stinked, and whenever somebody tells me they're going to get the money, if I got a negative gut instinct, then I won't let them do it. Uh, but if they can see they've been genuine and honest with me, and I actually do want to pay their debt, I'll give them that one chance. If they take that one chance and pay, then perfect. Just as the time limit expires... It is. Right on time. 31. Mr. Polizzi returns. Hi, right, mate. We got the money on you? Yeah. He's been able to raise the balance of the money he owes in cash. Thanks, buddy. You're a gentleman. I'm going to promise to you guys, yeah, I'm paid, I'm paid. Just then, his friend sends confirmation that he's paid the £1,500 he promised. How did they damage the car? I am lost. It's all in, buddy. Here's your receipt for the £1,200. Do you want a copy of the High Court, Red? Yeah, please. Because I'm going to take them back to your High Court for myself. Maybe you guys, I sent you back to bring them in for me. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. I'm not blaming you guys. I'm blaming this guy when he's trying to... He just put me to this position. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, my friend. Thank you, mate. It's been a good result for the agents. That job could have been so much easier. So much easier. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty easy. It just took time. Easier. Yeah, he's a result for us again, but I? I'm happy with that. Gareth and Mitch got a result in a tricky situation. But in Max and Steve's next case... They tried to get us. Recent research from a leading financial institution has shown that more than half of all self-employed people in the UK are seriously worried about their finances. Nearly one in five earn less than £500 a month while almost two-thirds report extended periods when they're not earning. Self-employed people have 36% more personal debt than those who are in full-time work or not in employment. High Court Enforcement Agents Max Carraher and Steve Pinner are in Edgware, North London. They have a writ to collect over £4,000 owed by a second-hand car dealer to a dissatisfied customer. Right, Steve, we are off to see MS UK Limited and we're looking to collect £4,372.86. Car dealers, director's name is Mashid Siamaki. Nice houses, aren't they? Very, yeah. It seems Mr. Siamaki sold a faulty car to the claimant, but then failed to reimburse her. That's bogus. That's why you gotta be careful of second-hand car dealerships. They'll do you like that. 
The case was escalated to the High Court, and a notice of enforcement was sent to Mr. Siamaki's home, where he's known to be trading cars. Should we have a check before? Yeah. Before we do it. Before they go and speak to the debtor, the agents do a quick search on his website to see whether he has any current stock they could use as leverage. Six cars listed. Beamers, Audis. Let's go see. Let's give them a knock. <coughs> it appears there are plenty of assets that could be seized. First, it appears there are plenty of assets that could be seized. But first, Steve and Max need to see whether Mr. Siamaki is willing to pay up. Hello, here to see Mashid Siamaki. Uh, uh, it's enforcement agents here with a high court writ. Uh, just give me one. Thank you. There we go. He's on the phone telling him you better come home. Madam, are you going to come and answer the door? There's still no answer. But then a man answer. arrives. Hello. Hello, sir. Are you... Are you Mr. Siamaki? Who is this guy? Mashid Siamaki. No, he's not here. He's not here? We've been told this is his property. Yeah, whatever it is. Yes. We have a high court writ, sir. Is, is that yourself? Well, are you Mashid? What, what is he regarding? Are you Mashid? I'm not, no. Okay, then I can't show you this paperwork. Unless you work for MS. Well, yeah. she's not going to let you in, so nice to meet so you. So you are Mashid. Nice to meet okay. you. Okay. We won't, we're not leaving, sir. <laughs> but stay here as long as you want. You can't get in by force. Okay. So Is we're not going to let you in. Okay. And I know everything about it. So okay. you can leave, okay? We're not going to leave. Stay here. I'm going to stay here. Stay here. Okay. Some debtors <laughs> do believe that they can outsmart the system. So, you know, and then... I'm not going to lie, Max is great for entertainment. Entertainment purposes, Max is the one. I didn't like him because of his attitude, but I'm entertained by him. All of a sudden, then you have to start to dig your heels in and say, at the end of the day, this is what we're sent to do. Well, let's see who's going to win here, us or you. It's clear that the man is the debtor the agents are looking for. Are you going to deal with this, or are you just going to run away from it? I'm, I'm going to be around, but I'm not going to let you in. There's an outstanding balance, sir. Why, why can't you pay it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? No. It's between me and them, OK? It's, it's not, unfortunately. The High Court's involved now. Oh, well, man, I'm yes. not going to let you in. Yeah? I know everything about it. Is there any way you can make the payment? No. We're going round in circles here, OK? I'm sorry, I'm, I don't want to be you, nasty, but that's what you got six cars listed. I'm what? I'm gonna find the cars. The cars are all sold. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna find the cars and take them. Nice to meet you. I'll find them. Sorry, mate. When a debtor looks at me in the eye and refuses to pay. Uh, hey, he's slight cocky about it, Max. I know you're gonna get to the bottom of it. Let's get negative. Um I don't have any respect for them. Uh, particularly if they're almost laughing and joking about it. Which and this is how to make me think outside the box and really go that extra mile. Um, I've got a point to prove. With Mr. Siamaki adamant he won't pay, the agent's only option is to seize his stock. We need to find those assets, don't we? Knowing that he trades from his house, the agents suspect Candy his stock is Prime parked nearby. Game. Max TC1, appreciate the dono, I got you. Copies down details of the cars listed for sale on his website, and the agents set off to find them. We're on the lookout for basically silver and black BMs and Audis. What? What? Why? Yeah, we haven't got any why. Then Steve spots an Audi. It's an Audi, isn't it? 06? DU06, that's it. That's a vehicle listed on their website. Okay. Yeah. Clamp it? Clamp it immediately, yeah. Imagine being that cocky with your whole entire stock right there within arm's reach. What a guy. Max, you go. Know Max ain't gonna let up. Max dang near just take it. 
goes to clamp the vehicle. Totally got far as cars. And goes to check how much Mr. Siamaki is selling it for on his website. See how much he wants for the uh, 06 plate Audi. Four grand. It doesn't quite cover it. it doesn't quite cover it. Certainly take a, take take a big a chunk, chunk out of it. it. Yeah. Keep looking. The Keep agents looking. now have a valuable asset they can seize. But before they call recovery, Max and Steve drive back round to Mr. Siamaki's to give him one last chance to pay. Okay, so if you don't want to come and speak to me, that's fine. Um, is there any way you can make the payment? We are going to remove uh, the Audi A4. So please come and speak to me or... Nothing belong to MSUK Limited. Okay, have you got any documents to show me? I don't want to remove it, but unless I see some documents, it will be going. The agents can only take vehicles belonging to the business named on the writ. So to stop the Audi being removed, Mr. Siamaki has to prove it's not a company asset. That's a private car. He shows them a registration document. That doesn't prove uh, ownership. As it says it right there on the document. Trader, you would understand that this is only proof of registration. This document is not proof not, of ownership. Not so registered key. It is. What, what you've seen, what you need to see, right? No, I asked for proof of ownership. That's proof of ownership. Read, read the line plus, out for me. This plus, document is not proof of ownership. Invoice plus the tax. Can I see the? Can I see the? Yeah, invoice. It's the invoice, which is no, the. That's the, the proof of ownership. You want to show me? Are you going to show me it, sir? No. You're not. Would you like to empty out the vehicle because I have to remove it? I don't want to, but you're forcing my hand. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, he's been an a-hole. Just take it. You've done enough. I'm doing HPR here. Yeah. The onus of proof is what the law requires for us to remove goods or take control of. Somebody has to prove that they own or do not own an item. Right. If they can't, then we are allowed to take it. Right. The onus of proof is not on the enforcement agents, it's on the defendant. With the debtor refusing to show them any evidence that the Audi doesn't belong to his company, Max calls the office for a vehicle check to see whether the car is free of finance. Hi Helen, can I get an HPI on the following vehicle please? Yeah. Delta Uniform 06. Okay, I've got an Audi A4 S line, Correct. free of finance. Yep. Roughly around 1500. 1500? And he's selling it for 4000? 1500? Wow. Uh -huh. It seems the Audi is worth a lot less than the £4,000 Mr. Siamaki was selling it for. This is this is what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. These secondhand dealerships be swindling people, swindling people. I'm talking about if you could, like in America, you can get a license to go to car auctions. If you can get one of those, or you got a homie that got one, go with him and find you a car that way. But as it's the only vehicle the agents have been able to find, Max requests a recovery truck. He won't show me any proof of ownership. We've got that vehicle seized at the moment. Can we look at removing that vehicle, please? Yeah, I'll get on that now. Thanks very much. Gotta find another vehicle. 90 minutes later, the recovery vehicle arrives. The Audi will be sold at public auction. But as it's worth less than a quarter of what Mr. Siamaki owes, the agents will be back. Fortunately, it's not over for him yet because that isn't going to cover the full balance. Well, it's never going to be over for him because costs are going to keep occurring. You know what I'm saying? Interest, like, it's, it's just, he might as well just keep coming back and finding his vehicles slowly, one by one. Yeah. That's really good negative. 
Research has shown that nearly half of all the small businesses launched in the UK every year fail within the first five years. More than 16,500 companies in England and Wales entered insolvency in 2016. This was 2,000 more than 2015. Nearly 1.5 million UK businesses ceased trading after the first half of the decade. High Court Enforcement Agents Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are in Failsworth, Manchester. This should be good. They in Manchester, they're closing it off with these two. To recover nearly £5,000 owed by a blinds and shutters supplier to a dissatisfied customer. Fun's out and yeah. you've dragged me out. To Manchester. Why? Why? Shutters man? Inc, my friend, a business. And we're going for an outstanding balance today of £4,940. On arrival, the shop, Shutter Sink, appears to be closed. Is there anyone inside? No, it's in darkness. The agents look for another way in. This is the side entrance. But this door is also locked. Stuart phones the owner, Cerise Blakely. Hello there, my name is Mr McCracken, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. At the moment, Cerise, OK, we're here to collect a balance of £4,940. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's okay. not going to happen. So, what, what, what's going to happen now is, Cerise, OK, I'm going to get a locksmith, OK, and then we're going to force entry into the property to collect goods in receipt of the value well, of, OK? So, there isn't anything in there of that money. Cerise, it's been yeah. transferred to the High Court now, OK? So it's out of the I don't understand hands. what you're talking about, mate. As Cerise They've been getting the script this whole time, playing dumb. ...won't talk to Stuart. Vic calls her straight back. Uh, my name is Mr Victor, I work with Mr McCracken, the Icon Enforcement Agent. Good cut back. OK, who else runs the shop if you're not here? Nobody! I can't afford to pay my bills, I've had loads of people not paying me. You give me two minutes to let me ring you back then, so I've come home myself, because at the moment I'm crying. Oh, the shutter's gone down. Who's closing your shop's shutter? As we speak, someone is closing your shop's shutter. You've just told me you've got no staff. So I haven't got any staff. So who's closing I've your got... shutter? You know what, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, okay. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Well, that's good. She's there, obviously. Moments later, the shutters open again. Back again. Oh, here we go. There we go. Has to remain open, though. There's someone inside the shop. I can't hear you, mate. I can't hear you. Oh, mate, you're right. Is she on her way down? Yeah. Yeah, really. How long she'll be? Then Cerise arrives. All right. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, no. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no Hold problem at all. Okay. I'm sure that's Vic. Hi, uh, uh, Cerise. Hello. Close to meet you, Cerise. Yeah, okay. Let's go inside. What can you pay today? It's the a county has got no money in it. It's fifteen grand overdraft, so it's fucking totally empty. What's happened is, basically, with the e-commerce side of things, yeah. people expect more. I've not been able to collect 28 grand's worth of money. Oh, bloody hell. It's clear that Cerise's business has fallen on hard times. But the agents are duty-bound to get this case resolved one way or another. Everything in here, the computers, the desks, the shutters, the stock in the back, all that will be removed and it will be removed in the next hour. So you need to see what you can do to try and raise something. Okay. So we're either here to collect payment or remove goods. Cerise is facing Cerise. a crisis. If she can't raise enough money to satisfy the claimant, her business could be at serious risk. I always thought that business was like not a good one, like shutters and blinds, like because I don't know, like if y'all got Home Depot or Menards out there or anything like that that sells that type of stuff. Like, I, like it, it doesn't make sense. Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor were in Failsworth, Manchester. 
to collect almost £5,000 from a company supplying blinds and shutters. And pay made it clear. All that will be removed and it will be removed in the next hour. Now Stuart and Vic hope that starting an inventory of goods in the shop might prompt Cerise to make a payment. Oh, I take it this is the stock, is it? Yeah. This, this is all mess badges. Yeah. What, you saying this is stuff that's been cancelled? It's mess badges, it's worth firewood. It appears that the stock is of low value. Stuart and Vic would have to clear most of the shop to offset the £5,000 debt. That table there, the black one, yeah. that, that's like... 150 quid retail. That's how you will get about 20 quid at auction. Oh, it's just awful, like, I know. So I've got all that. But then Cerise reveals something that could stop the agents in their tracks. At the moment, the company's going into liquidation. Yeah. Is it in liquidation? Or are yeah. you planning to go in liquidation? No, it's sorted. Has it gone through court? Well, it's not. No, it's all on the okay. process. It's a process. I've never done it before. It's a process then. Right. It appears that the company isn't in liquidation yet so the writ can still be enforced. But Cerise's time to raise some funds is running out. If you can tell me 100% today, you can't pay, right? Then we have to take goods. Yeah, I don't want to take on. your goods. No, it's all right. I want you to I've got enough for that. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. With Cerise adamant... She is, yeah, she's content. ...she can't pay, Stuart calls for away. recovery. Hi mate, you alright? We need a seven and a half tonne for the weight with all the shutters and everything because there is quite a lot of stock. Alright, see you later, bye bye. Right, auctioneers are on their way. Cerise's friend arrives to offer moral support. You need to make your aware because the goods have been seized, I'll have to turn the phones off. If you've got a mobile, you can make a phone call on. They've been seized. But the situation is taking its toll. Yeah, time's run out now. Oh, fuck off. Stop repeating it, please. I know the time's run out. I think to a lot of people, when we do take control of goods, especially in a commercial... I knew she was a little bit too calm. Now, oh no, no, what the... Whoa, 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 what is that? Hold on. The premise is that really, we do take control of goods, especially in a commercial premises it really is the end of the line and I think people just want it done as quickly as possible and then they can move on with their lives and try and figure out how how do they move on but sadly we're in that job where we do see people that have literally lost everything 30 minutes later the recovery vehicles arrive Hello! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> How are you keeping? You're all right. Regular, In you go. Help us up. <laughs> right, what we've got is everything here basically the stock here, there's blinds Custom blinds, and then through here, there's all the stock in here, all through here. I mean, there's just loads of it. Everything, yeah, yeah. And then just the basic computer stuff, desks. Right. <laughs> yeah. But seeing her stock being taken away is too much for Cerise. Right, well, I need yeah. to time out, mate, yeah. so I need a break. So. Be all right. I'm so, going to go get the McDonald's or something. I think she's past caring, isn't she? If she's had enough of the business, maybe. Yeah, no, she's had enough of the business, but it's on the front. And I did say to her, look, if the court will just turn it off. The agents complete the removal in Cerise's absence. I'm just putting everything in here, mate. And then they can... To be fair, that was a terrible business venture. I just don't see it. I don't see why anybody would have thought this was profitable. When there's big name stores that you can go get this stuff from for probably less. Decide what's what. Can you just give me a quick scribble for yourself yeah, as well, mate? That's to be of service. The stock and service. office equipment will be sold at auction. But if the sale doesn't cover the almost £5,000 debt, the agents will be back. Oh, Vic, another day, another remove. Yeah, another day, another dollar. Yeah, it is what it is. Just missed it.
after about two weeks. That's an ongoing case itself, too. Okay, tell her, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.